Good morning and welcome. Today is Sunday, uh, January 17th, 2021. And we have started a new series. We said that uh, in 2021, we're going to do a new series. Uh, we're calling it 2021, A New Beginning. And I don't want to sound like this is like a self-help series or how-to series. No, just, just want to make sure that we all understand and we are on the same track when it comes to these teachings. Uh, these teachings are all about Jesus. You know, it's Christ-centered and scripture-based. We don't bring any uh, ideology outside of ideology or human ideology. What we bring is the Word of God. And that's what we want to do today, once again. 2021, a new beginning. We're calling it a new beginning because a lot of people and a lot of us, uh, 2020 was a was a sad year, was a, was a difficult year, was a tough year. So we wanted to call it, instead of coping with COVID-19 in, in, in the past, we want to call it 2021, a new beginning, a year that's going to be a new beginning for all of us. And we're going to talk about that. What does that mean? And Speaking of new beginning and speaking of encouraging passage, today I want to share with you a passage from the book of Philippians, Paul's letter to the Philippian church. And uh, I'm going to read from chapter 2. And chapter 2, starting verse 5, this is what the Word of God says. Again, focus is on scripture. And this is scripture, and this is what scripture says today. Your attitude should be the same as that of Jesus Christ. Your attitude should be the same as that of Jesus Christ, who, being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself, and became obedient to death, even death on the cross. Therefore, God exalted him to be the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus Christ, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. What a beautiful passage that we, as we, again, continue these series, 2021, a new beginning. This is a new beginning for us because we are going to make change in our lives. And, and as the scripture teaches us, today's, today's lesson is about attitude. Uh, the scripture is talking about Paul. The apostle Paul is talking about the attitude of Jesus. Uh, what kind of an attitude Jesus had? His attitude was very simple he was god he was equal to god but that godhead and uh the divine god jesus came into the world and he became human so what kind of attitude is that that's, that's humility and what do we learn from jesus what we learn from him is to become like him and have his his attitude and his attitude was he was humble he did not consider being God and equal to God, something that, that he did not boast about it. On the contrary, he said, yeah, even, even though I'm God, but I'm going to come into this world. I'm going to become human and I'm going to show God's love, the Heavenly Father's love to each and every human being. So attitude, uh, do you want change in your life? Do you want to start a new beginning? You need to have the same attitude of Jesus Christ, as, as our Lord Jesus Christ. He humbled himself. He loved everyone. He forgave everyone. And he accepted everyone. Can you can you do the same, you know, uh, this year? Can you change your attitude and say, you know what? I'm going to change my attitude and this is going to be a new beginning for me. I want to be like Jesus. I want to have the, his, his attitude. I want to have uh, the same kind of personality that he has. He loved. He accepted. He healed everyone. And I want to be like him. I want to uh, I want to heal people. I want to accept people. I want to love people. I want to forgive everyone. And I'm going to look at humanity as my brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter what color, what race, what background, what ethnicity, what denomination. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to love like Jesus. I'm going to change my attitude. 
So do you want to start, uh, do you have, do you want to start this year? Do you want to have a new beginning? Do you want to be uh, happy and say, I want to change my attitude? Then this is your chance. But the only way you can change your attitude is when you accept the Lord Jesus Christ and you become in Christ, you become his child. And that can be done by simply making a simple prayer. And at the end of the session, I'm going to, to pray and I'm going to encourage you, especially those of you who want to start a new beginning, want to, to, want to change your life. Uh, unless you change from within, you're not going to have a good attitude. Unless you accept the Lord and say, Lord, change me from within. Come into my life because you have promised that if I accept you, if I invite you into my life, you're going to come, you and the Heavenly Father and the Holy Trinity, all of you will come and change my life. And I'm going to be baptized by the Holy Spirit. I want to be baptized by the Holy Spirit, Heavenly Father. And I want to accept the Lord Jesus as my Savior because I would like 2021 to be a new beginning for me. Uh, 2020 was tough. 2020 was hard. 2020 was was a was a year of sadness and loss and 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 pain. But I want 2021 to be a new beginning for me, and I want to make that decision in my life. So, folks, I'm going to once again. Uh, uh, I like to call this the spiritual ritual. Spiritual ritual: lighting a candle. Light, I just love to light candles. You know why? Because it reminds me of Jesus. Jesus said. I am the light of the world and I want you to be the light of the world. I want you to share that. Uh, and I told you about that little uh, song that I learned when I was in, in, in kindergarten, when I was in Sunday school. This little lamb of mine, I'm going to let it shine. So let's shine the light of Jesus Christ. And by lighting this candle, it reminds us that he is the light of the world. And he wants us to reflect that with one another so let us pray and let us invite him into our lives once again and i encourage those of you who have not made that decision it's a simple decision all you have to do is say lord jesus i'm a sinner and i accept you in my life and i want you to come and change me today let us pray father our heavenly father our our creator and our sustainer thank you so much for this great attitude that your son Jesus Christ showed by becoming human, even though he was God, 100% God, he was equal to you, Heavenly Father, but he chose to come to us and reveal himself. He chose to become a human like us. And his attitude was an attitude of, of humbleness and humility. He humbled himself and he came to save us. He came to love us. He came to, to, to forgive us from our sins and he came and he accepted us and he healed us heavenly father we pray that we uh we uh today that you give us that that uh understanding and willingness to become like jesus love everyone forgive everyone and to accept everyone but we want the change to be from within so uh, unless we are changed from within unless we become your children we cannot have the attitude that jesus have demonstrated we want to be like you jesus we want to become your servant and we want to be your children but that is a personal decision that we want to make so i pray for all those who have not accepted the lord as their savior and have not made that decision that today would be a time uh, uh, to make that decision and that 2021 will be a new resolution a new re new resolution a new beginning beginning with Christ, not with self-help books, not with, with how-to books, but with Jesus Christ, who is the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. And we pray this in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, folks, you have a good week. And once again, we'll see you next Sunday, God willing. You have a safe and a, 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 and a healthy week. Uh, be careful out there. Always, always practice social distancing and always practice safety and always think healthy healthy and always think being practical god bless you and we'll see you next week uh, pray for one another encourage one another 
And let today be a day when you would say, I'm going to be like Jesus. My attitude is going to be like Jesus. And I'm going to change and I'm going to preach that. And I'm going to shine and I'm going to let my little lamb, I'm going to let my little lamb shine uh, just like that song. This little lamb of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let us, let's do that this week, folks. And let's start the year. Let's start this week, uh, the new beginning. God bless you and we'll see you next Sunday.